एवरीवन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल तो स्टूडेंट यू विल से मैम वी आर जस्ट स्टडिंग कॉयल एंड पेट्रोलियम फ्रॉम लास्ट थ्री सेशन नाउ हाउ मच वी हैव टू स्टडी अबाउट दिस सो डोंट वरी इट विल बी योर लास्ट सेशन अबाउट फॉर दिस चैप्टर बिकॉज वी जस्ट हैव टू सी सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट रिलेटेड टू इट ओके सो इफ आई आस्क यू डेट टिल नाउ दैट वॉट यू हैव लर्न अबाउट कॉयल एंड पेट्रोलियम you will say ma'am we learned that okay coal and petroleum are fossil fuels that we are using these fuels in different different ways we are getting benefit of it, from it so we are considering them as the resources but the sad part is that these are the exhaustible one that means we can't use them in the very unlimited quantity they are present in very limited quantity so we have to think twice thrice before using them or like before using without any requirement or if we are wasting it okay so that's the whole things we have learned till now but now students like uh, from the last three sessions we are just looking at that we are having so many advantages of it but students as one thing is here that everything is having their own advantages and their own disadvantages so similarly students coal and petroleum is also having so many advantages but along with that they are also having some limitations that means some disadvantages so we are going to discuss also disadvantages in today's class okay so let's start with the session now just give me a minute okay so these are the topic students which we are going to cover up today that it is the limitations of the fossil fuels that means what limitation what disadvantages of fossil fuels are there that we are using them as we have seen that in so many areas at every point we need them that according to the coil according to the petroleum we are getting the uh, components from it natural yes but how we are like how they are proving as a disadvantage for us as well not for us only like for our environment like it is polluting our environment how so we'll see all these things okay some preventive measures like how how we can prevent such things so how should we do that so we all these points we are going to discuss today okay so now limitations that means what are the limitations of the fossil fuels fossil fuels students now see that okay we have seen this thing that fossil fuel something which we are getting from dead and decaying of the organisms like that vegetation converts to coil and the dead organisms converts to petroleum under the high pressure and temperature so it results into the fossil fuels now we use them as fuels because they produce a lots of energy but students it's the only thing that they are producing like if we see coil petroleum and the natural gas so they the thing is that they are giving lots of energy along that we are not getting anything it's not like that student because when you do the combustion reaction of coil in the presence of oxygen so when it gets burned so it will release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere okay this carbon dioxide is getting converted into the atmosphere uh, not not converted into the atmosphere but releasing into the atmosphere okay and along with that you are having smoke black smoke you can say black smoke is there along with some toxic gases may be also getting released at that point okay that means student when you burn coil and when you refine petroleum and from the petroleum you will be having different different products like petrol diesel so all such things are having carbon content and when they all go under the combustion reaction that means when they get burnt in the presence of oxygen so they release lots of smoke and that smoke student produce the pollutant that it acts as the pollutant for the environment that means the quality of the air getting reduced okay and if the quality of air is getting reduced so you can imagine student that if the air for like which we use for our breathing purpose not only us even the plants and animals if that air is not good for our health so how we are going to survive exactly because we have to inhale oxygen for our uh, you can say for our functioning of our body even though for our survival the important thing is survival that we need oxygen for that but if we are not getting that good quality of air so how we are going to take all such things and and see students if there is so many toxic substances present in the environment all of these things are so it eventually results into the pollution and we like we are going to face such problems so the thing is that burning of coal and petroleum produces a lots of pollutants causing air pollution and in that one is the smoke carbon dioxide and maybe other toxic gases also 
okay and because of that students what happened see like what happened when the carbon dioxide uh, the content of the carbon dioxide in the environment increases so carbon dioxide that what's the work of the carbon dioxide student okay let's say this is sun and sun is giving its rays to the earth okay this is earth now on the earth we are having more content of carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is responsible for trapping the sun radiation okay now when we are having more content more amount of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere so what will happen student that it will trap more and more heat from the sun and when it is trapping more and more heat in uh, from the sun so student because of that what happened that the temperature or the overall temperature of the earth increases it results into the increased temperature of the earth and students which results into the global warming that means from that go global warming students what what condition we are going to see that environment is getting affected even though like uh, whenever if you see that uh, the, uh, nowadays we are not getting that type of winters that how we usually getting in india because the global warming has been increased up that means now it is uh, you can say that uh, right now i am not feeling cold because the temperature has been changed because of that global warming only and uh, you can see that the glacier starts melting and if they starts melting so that means they are going to increase the water level in the rivers lakes or something like that which can result into flood so that's how student global warming is a very main cause of the fossil fuels that means when you burn coal and petroleum it releases lots of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and when it releases lots of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere student because of that what will happen that the temperature of the earth increases because carbon dioxide is responsible for trapping the sun's radiation okay and when sun radiation is falling over the earth and it's like that more content of the carbon dioxide is there so it will entrap more and more because of that temperature increases and it results into the global warming and how students global warming is something that which which is causing lots of problem like temperature is rising so what what the condition when the temperature increases so what happened that people start using acs okay like air conditioners and refrigerators are going to be used up like freezers okay because we need to cool ourselves no because that the high temperature or that high heat we can't handle okay so for that we use acs nowadays you can see that everyone is having air conditioners in their house and students what happened that the air conditioners that for the freezing for the cooling purpose we use chlorofluorocarbon chlorofluorocarbon and student the uh, chlorofluorocarbon is responsible for a very major cause how it is the cause of the ozone depletion now you'll say ma'am what is ozone depletion so students in our atmosphere over the uh, like you can say in our atmosphere we are having one ozone layer okay ozone layer that is the o3 layer and this layer protect us from the harmful radiation of the sun that means student if you can see this is sun and sun is giving its radiation on the earth and we are having the ozone layer okay this ozone layer will not allow the harmful radiation of the sun to pass through uh, pass through it and we are not getting affected it because that rays are the uv rays that is the ultra uh, ultra violet rays so what happens student if those radiations are getting passed through it because as we can see they are harmful for us so they can cause skin cancer they can cause many problems to us that is why student when the global warming is increasing so the requirement for the ac requirement for the freezer is also increasing and they are consuming chlorofluorocarbon and because of the increased use of chlorofluorocarbon it results into the ozone depletion that means student uh, ozone is getting depleted ozone layer is getting damaged and you can imagine that like over your uh, uh, like over your head if you imagine like you are living in your house and you are standing somewhere like in your house and at the top of your head there is no roof and the raining is like raining is there so that means you are getting wet from it now you are getting affected of it so that's how student ozone layer help us for, help us from uh, from getting 
be protected by those harmful rays that is how student if you are not having ozone layer over your head so the sun like the sun radiation whether it is harmful whether it is good for you they all are falling on you and that's a student if it is the ultraviolet radiation is there so maybe you can be having some kind of skin cancer you may be having some other problems as well so that's a student because of it ozone depletion is all like ozone depletion is also a very important cause which is occurring because of the using of fossil fuels okay so that's a student if, if you have see heard that news that over the antarctica region there is one ozone ozone hole that means oh there is a hole in the ozone layer so you can imagine if such conditions are increasing day by day so how we are going to survive that is why you can see that yes along with the usage of that we have to see that where we have to use a uh, coil or petroleum or where we can use the alter alter option of that fine because they are acting as a pollutant for the air and they are causing the air pollution and which resulting into the global warming as well as in the ozone depletion fine students now the you can see here that fossil fuels like coal and petroleum only releases oxides of carbon nitrogen and sulfur that is the carbon dioxide carbon monoxide nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide etc that cause acid rain which affect the soil fertility in potable water potable water means students that are water for which we use for a domestic purpose like for drinking for bathing for cooking everything now uh, what happens student like when they release the oxides <clears throat> in the atmosphere like nitrogen nitrogen oxide sulfur dioxide so what happens during that in our atmosphere we are having some water particles okay when these gases combine with those water particles so they form acid okay like if so2 is there so when it is combining with h2 it results to h2so4 and it results into hno3 that is the nitric acid and the sulfuric acid so student whenever there is the rain and the acid which is present in the atmosphere it is going to dissolve with the rain that means it results into the acid rain that the water which we are getting from rain it is not neutral one it is having acid amount in it because the acidic substance is present in the atmosphere okay and when acid rain is falling on the earth so it is affecting the soil fertility because you can see soil is here and when rain is falling over it and which is acidic nature so it will change the nature of the soil because student for the fertility of the soil it should be neutral not that much basic not that much acidic it depends depends upon the condition and if the acid rain is falling on the soil so it is changing its acidic range or the basic range that means it is affecting the soil fertility and it is also affecting the potable water that means that the water is also going to be having affect by it maybe acidic strain maybe acidity will going to increase in water and if it's it is going to happen so that's how student you can't grow the crops over that soil and if the water is also changing its acidity or basicity so that's how you can't drink that water because it will not good for your health because what we require we require neutral soil neutral water for us exactly if we are not having such condition so definitely we are going to face problem so that means student because of the release of lots of smoke because of release of carbon dioxide and other uh, gases there is a causing of global warming ozone depletion is there acid rain is there so that's how which affect the soil fertility and the potable water now students if you remember the case study of taj mahal in the like taj mahal like when it was built or like if i say before some time like before 10 20 years ago it was white marble okay it is made up of white marble but if you see nowadays that the color of the marble is changing why the color of the marble is changing student the reason is acid rain that the acidic components are increasing in the atmosphere due to which when the rain is there so it is mixing up with the rain and it results into the acid rain and because of that student that the white color of the marble is converting into the different color so that is how student uh, like usage of fossil fuels is good but it is also having so many disadvantages that it directly having a negative impact over our environment and see what do we want we want our environment to be clean because that's the important thing for us to be survive like our environment contains water air so everything is essential for us and if all these essential things are going to be damaged or destroyed or you can say contaminated so how you are going to survive so that's how student start using fossil fuels wisely because of all these reasons
okay so that's our student these all are the limitations of the fossil fuels now how can you get prevention of it so what measures you can take students so you can see here that start using <clears throat> all uh, and you can see wind mills wind mills you can use and the cars which are running on the batteries you can use okay so that means student what could be the prevention see first of all start using solar energy because student what happened like if your car is there if you are uh, like if you are using electricity in your houses what you can do student like we use the fuels like coal and petroleum in the industries in power plants exactly but if you start using solar energy like the energy which we are directly getting from the sun and if your cars and batteries are charging over the solar energy so you don't have to use coal and petroleum exactly that means student they just get charged so that means you are using the uh what we can say electrical cars or something like that so that you don't have to use coal and petroleum that is why student in many of the countries people have started using electrical trains and something like that so that they just get charged and they run over for a long period of time because the usage of the coal and petroleum releasing lots of smoke which is not good for the air fine student so solar energy you can use then wind energy that means when wind is available so you can use that energy for your purposes like whatever you want to do fine students now as we have seen like coal and petroleum generally used for the transportation purpose so students what you can do you can do car pulling now you will say ma'am what is that see for example students you are four friends okay and you have to go to the uh, house to the of the fifth one like he is having birthday party and you all have to go there but it is somewhat far away and one of your friend is offering car okay so now the thing is that it is good to go within one car other like uh, you can what you can do is like either you can use four cars like four of you can travel by your own cars but it can also be possible that you can take one car and four of them you can travel in it and you can reaching to your fifth friend okay so that's a student what happened that the petrol or the diesel which is used by the four cars or the cng i can say also with the four cars is going to be just reduced to the one car so you can see that how the reduce like you can say usage is has been reduced exactly so that's how student you can do such things like car pulling or the wind energy usage solar energy usage so that the usage of the fossil fuels can reduced fine because those fossil fuels are also resulting into the formation of plastic and plastic we know this thing student that it is non biodegradable that it is not going to be degrade at any point by any decomposer okay so that is why student we should not uh, make such things which is getting up like which is affecting our environment okay like or you can do walk walking like if you have to go to a very small like you have to cover a very little bit of distance so you can just walk okay and what else you can do is like car pulling walking and start using bicycles like if you have to go somewhere because bicycles do not require any coil or like any petrol any diesel to travel so you can use it you'll say ma'am how can we ride bicycles from one place to the another place if it is 100 kilometers away exactly students you can't use that but you can use electrical cars you can use solar energy and it, like car pulling is there so that's how student by taking these all of the preventions you can you can get rid of it and that's how student like coal and petrol for the cooking purpose cng and lpg is there like not using the cow dung or anything you can use lpg okay so that's how student such preventions you can take and the very most important prevention is that whenever you will be finding the alternative of any fossil fuel so just use that like if we know this thing that natural gas or the petroleum they are used in the formation of plastics and the other materials and we know this thing that the plastic is non biodegradable okay plastic is non biodegradable that means it is affecting our environment very very much if it is affecting our environment very much students so how why to use plastic you can either use paper bags you can use jute bags that means you are having different different type of bags as well which is present uh, like in a very different uh, different ranges as well variety of ranges is there colors are available designs are available so that's a student you can start using them 
ओके एंड एज वी हैव सीन दैट ग्लोबल वार्मिंग इज इंक्रीज अब सो व्हाट हैपन स्टूडेंट दैट ए सी इज एंड वी ऑल आर यूजिंग सच थिंग बट व्हाट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन यूज कूलर्स आल्सो व्हिच लाइक व्हिच जस्ट रिक्वायर लिटिल बिट अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर एंड यू कैन गेट कूल योर एनवायरमेंट सो दैट्स हाउ यू हैव टू स्टार्ट टेकिंग प्रिवेंशंस इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट व्हाटएवर आई एम टेलिंग टू यू यू जस्ट हैव टू फॉलो दैट it's your fish like whatever you are feeling that ma'am by using this particular thing i can reduce the usage of uh, uh, fossil fuel so i will taking this thing okay and even though you can use 3 hours 3 hours like it's like reduce reuse and recycle that means if you are feeling that you can reduce that uh, the usage of the fossil fuel at any point to so do that reuse that if you think that anything which is getting formed from the petrochemicals which is a component of petroleum so just reuse it recycle that means to render that the plastic which has been formed just recycled if it is not getting biodegrade so that's how student you can use all such prevention and it's totally totally depends upon you that how you want to reduce such usage how do you want to get preventions from it so that you your environment is getting free all such uh, free from all such negativity because what it is all it is all negativity and we are living in environment we want positivity so that we can survive very well so that we can keep ourselves fit that is why also students when the pollution has been increased from last some time like uh, from last some years so the uh, like you can say that the problem of the breathing and the problem of you can say that people are not having that much of stamina you can say because the environment is not good for us because pollution is there we are inhaling that pollution which is decreasing the capacity of our body so that's our student we have to all do such thing for us only that is why you can take such prevention act you and you can get rid it of rid of it it's not only you we we all should do these things okay so these are the limitations and the preventions you can take now it just that one question is here what is the major cause of air pollution write the various tips for minimizing of wastage of petrol diesel while driving vehicles okay so students here the burning of fossil fuel is the main cause of air pollution because it releases smoke it releases carbon dioxide and many other toxic substances in the air which directly contaminates the air and we are not having the good quality of air fine on burning these produces harmful gases like carbon monoxide is very harmful for us sulfur dioxide etc and cause global warming in the atmosphere as we have di discussed already and then this leads to the depletion of ozone layer all these things we have discussed students that what is ozone depletion what is global warming exactly now what should be the tips for the like uh, how can we minimize the wastage of fuels in the vehicles drive vehicles at a constant speed switch off the vehicle's engine at a traffic light obviously student if you see that it will require 2 to 3 minutes to uh, like to wait so what you have to do is you have to switch off the engine because if the engine is running so the fuel is getting wasted okay so that's how you can do it ensure correct air pressure in the tires of vehicles okay the, if the correct air pressure is there so that the fuel is not getting wasted if it is uh, less so what happened that the fuel has to work more to move that car that is why student by to uh, taking all such thing you can uh, reduce the wastage and even though like my favorite point is car pulling or you can do like you can use the electrical cars and uh, i think so we i don't know whether we are having it or not but yes you can use solar energy and some all such things so that's how you can minimize the wastage of the fuels okay because as we know they are the exhaustible resources so they are limited in nature and even the non renewable so we have to use them very carefully fine so with that student we have completed this chapter we have completed the whole chapter that means now your duty is to revise all of the uh, videos and revise all of the sections and just clear your concept and even though if you are having any any problem what you can do is you can post your question on public or private forum of ask ideas and you will be getting answers from the expert side and that's how you have completed your chapter now just read it study well and it's not like that after studying you just have to forget all these things just try to implement all such things like all such preventions in your life okay so in the very last thank you very much for watching the video and keep learning from us guidians thank you